Well, a lot to unpack on this Thursday. Another chilly start to the day, and we stay in the 60s, but gradually a warming trend begins by Friday and into the weekend. Maybe some hit or miss showers in the forecast, but not really a whole lot of rain of consequence. That's soon becoming a story, given how dry we are. This, of course, is the driest period of the year, typically. Uh, so enjoy, at least uh, for now, the somewhat cooler air. It is just about perfect for the start of the Greater Jacksonville Agricultural Fair. That starts at 5 o'clock at the fairgrounds. Now, in its 68th year, Year, the fair is short on time in downtown. Remember, under that deal that was negotiated with Shad Khan's investment company, two more years, it's going to head out to the equestrian center on the west side. So two more years of the fair in the downtown corridor. And we're taking you through the fairground, some of what's new and uh, exciting for, uh, obviously, kids and kids at heart as well. Texas Rangers winning their first World Series and celebrating through the night as uh, the college basketball world also mourns the passing of a legend as Bobby Knight. Uh, uh, died at the age of 83. A lot of stories to unpack for you throughout Jacksonville's morning news. A woman from the area facing federal charges for getting caught up in this monkey torture video trend that's been out there. Uh, closer look at the chat group that ultimately led to her being arrested and charged now with a federal crime. That's at WOKV.com. Shanna Gardner, the woman at the center of a murder for hire plot uh, in the 2020 to killing of Jared Bridegan in Jacksonville Beach, hiring well-known, prominent national attorney Jose Baez now as her attorney. If you might remember Jose Baez from the Casey Anthony trial back in 2011. He also uh, defended uh, Harvey Weinstein and Aaron Hernandez. And so he gets a lot of national and media attention and now evidently will be representing Shanna Gardner in her upcoming trial in Duval County facing those murder charges. Uh, a lot of stories uh, from the war field in Gaza as Israeli troops are moving closer and closer to Gaza City. We're on the ground there. Fox's Trey Yanks and the team of reporters keeping you up to date as President Biden calls for a pause to allow many prisoners to be freed. Continuing coverage of these and other stories throughout Jacksonville's morning news through 10 on 104.5 WOKV.